How to Make Your Dreams Come True. Hey there, I'm Charlotte with Colorful Teaching for You. Thank you so much for joining me. January 13th is so exciting because it is How to Make Your Dreams Come True Day. Now, this day is really important because so many of us have these really big dreams, but they end up staying as daydreams that we never get to. It just seems like they're so unattainable and so much gets in our way that we just never remember them. We just keep them and we wish and we hope. So instead of going through that pattern, we're going to use this day today. Um, well, it's actually for tomorrow, but we're going to start today because we're talking about it. We're going to use it as a way to motivate us to get started on working toward our big dreams so that they don't seem so big and daunting, but adventurous and exciting. So let's get right into it. We've got four steps to help you through this. Number one is let's focus. So what we're going to do today is we're going to take a moment to write down. I want you just like, it's as though I hate to say, I hate this terminology, but pretend you're vomiting. You're going to vomit it all onto your piece of paper and write down all of your big dreams. Just let it all go and let it all flow. Okay. When you're done, I'd love for you to take your handy dandy highlighter and highlight one of the, the goals that are that's super meaningful to you that you really want to make come true. I only want one. Don't don't even try to go for two because we want to hyper focus and make sure that that dream we work on and it nothing else gets in our way and we don't get sidetracked. If you've got more than one going, you're going to get sidetracked. OK, so do just one. Number two is get inspired. I want you to find someone who's actually achieved your dream or your goal. Get in touch with them. And if this person is unavailable to talk to you and they have a book or a podcast or something, soak in as much knowledge as you can from them. But if you can talk to them, I'd love for you to ask them the following questions. What what did it well, what steps did they take to achieve their goal? Number two is how long did it take? And the third one is what did they do to help themselves as they persevered through their goals? Because at some point it gets it gets to be too much. OK, once you've done that and you've had that conversation, the third step is to focus on milestones. So here I want you to take um, what you've talked about with you, the person that inspired you. Look at your schedule, look at your goal, break it down and actually put it into your calendar so that you can get started right away. The, in your calendar, I also want you to put down um, milestones, like actually circle it or highlight it or something, your milestones, and then create an incentive when you get to those milestones so that you actually have something to keep pushing you forward. Okay. And then the fourth one is get help. So if you are struggling at any point and you're saying, oh my gosh, I can't keep going, then send me an email at colorfulteach at gmail.com colorful has a U in it and join us with the high achievers club so that we can motivate you to keep going. If you have any questions though, in the meantime, remember to create experience and teach from the heart. Please send me an email and um, let's recap. We've talked about how to help you make your dreams come true on how to, how to make your dreams come true day, which is number one, let's focus. Number two is get inspired. Number three is focus on milestones. And number four is get help. Take care and I will see you in a little while. Bye.